Tonight on Star News 23, the Canthan New Year. One third of our world celebrates a new beginning by sitting around on chance games while the rest of us sell lunar fortunes and mini pets. What could possibly be more exciting than a video game? A video of people talking about a video game. This is Star News 23. You're watching Star News 23, featuring John Johnny John John John, Bloody How the Second, the Stillborn Prince, Melody the Mesmer, the Dunka Monk on the Sports Desk, and our expert League of Correspondents. Live from our studios, John Johnny John John John. Thank you for watching Star News 23. I'm John Johnny John John John. It's a new year here in our world, which has plunged one Canton City into celebration. To tell us what the fuck's going on out here, we're going to send it out to the Stillborn Prince, who's on the scene in Lion's Arch. Thanks, John. I'm reporting to you live from Lion's Arch, where it looks like something might be going on here. They put some dragon things on stuff, and there's a guy over there playing rock, paper, scissors with around 10 other people. Super cool, guys. The real action was taking place here in Shangjay Monastery, where a series of boardwalk games and other attractions gave people plenty of reasons to be AFK all weekend while they went outside or had social lives. Also, fairly prominently featured at this year's festival was a series of quests that rewarded people with lunar tokens, gold, and a bunch of useless crap. There were four quests offered out of Xingjie Monastery and a fifth one offered by some depressed guy outside. And for those turning tokens into fortunes and then opening insane numbers of fortunes, there was also this, the miniature celestial dragon. Mere hours into the event, many dragons surpassed Ectos as the number one form of currency in game. The events also brought some rarely seen creatures to the surface, including Neon Cats, level 28 beasts that are apparently allergic to celebrations, and a Naga boss named Lisby Stinkface whose presence in Kanth is about as intimidating as Arena Net's stance on Jade Quarry Botting, which is to say that their stance can be killed by a level 5 warrior and a couple of level 3 henchmen. Also soft in this event was security protecting festival ink shipments, as was the case when quest givers were also asking players to save their shit and kill these three guys. While nothing was going on in Lion's Arch, the same was also the case in Kamadon, barring one exception, this kid. Festival goers were given the task of either helping him be a spoiled little sparkler consuming shit, or pissing in his Alonian cornflakes by helping this guy. Hey, are we sure he isn't using an everlasting tonic? That looks like a disguise of the Avatar of Fun! And that concludes my report. For Star News 23, I'm the Stillborn Prince. Back to you, John. Thank you very much, Dead Man. Next, we're going to send it out to the 12 ring game a few yards behind me, where Hertz McGirt will tell us about the real attraction to this event, the Boardwalk Games. All right, apparently Hertz isn't there, so we're going to go to a commercial break. We'll be right... Oh, we found him? All right, go to him. Hey, John, what's up? Uh, Hertz, I don't think that's the Boardwalk. Yeah, it's coming down. So what are you doing out there? You gave me the tickets and told me to use them and to get something with them and then tell you what I got with them, so I'm using them, but I can't seem to figure out what to do with them, so I thought I might be able to sell them and get something with them that way, but I'm trying to sell them and I'm not getting any luck so far. Do you think I might need some luck from something because I see that some people are saying that they're lucky and if I do need luck, do you know I can get some luck because obviously I don't have any at all whatsoever? No, Hertz, I don't think I can help you. Have you read the wiki? Read the what? The wiki. The what? It's... No, uh, oh, never mind. How many tickets do you have left? Six. What? That's it? Where they all go? That's all you gave me. You gave me the six, and then you said to go use them, and then to get something with them, but I can't uh, see the three. Aren't you repeating do. yourself again? Yeah, I still got the tickets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got that part. Johnny, I gave you, you six. six tickets, not six stacks. What are you trying to do? Rip me off all swatty. Threw the pig. The pig, 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 pig. I threw it a few what times. What do you mean you threw the Fucking pig? Fucking pig flies! Thank you, Hurts. Your fruit snacks are in the mail. Coming up next, we're going to go look at the player versus player moments of this weekend's festival. But first, we must go to a commercial break. Watch this thing so we'll get paid for it. We'll babble more after. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler... Now playing in Ratasum, Hamlet, the greatest playwright of another culture's time, returns to Tyria for five nights only in a night of thrills, kills, and a test of wills. Do you see yonder cloud that's almost in shape of a camel? By the mess. And tis like a camel, indeed. Me thinks it is like a weasel. It is backed by a weasel. Or like a whale. Very like a whale. Witness the tragedy of Hamlet, the Prince Asura of Denmark, as he embarks on a quest to avenge the death of his father at the hands of his uncle, Usurpa to the throne. Explore and be shot. How now? A rat? Dead for a ducat. Dead. Oh, I am slain. Where is Polonius? In heaven, send thither to sea. If your messenger find him not there, seek him I the other place yourself. Hamlet is a production of Rata Sum Theatre Troupe. Tickets are 8 Ecto, 7 Ecto for seasonal founders and members of the Rata Sum Theatre Troupe Playhouse. Reserve your seat today! So tell them, with the occurrence, more and less, which I have solicited, the rest is silence. Hurt blast! 
And we're back! Now we're gonna send it over to our player versus player correspondent, Badonka Monk, who will tell us about the PvP events from this weekend. Thanks, John! I'm reporting to you live from the Dragon Arena, which is about as dead as Heroes Ascent on a good day. As is likely evident behind me, the only people who seem to be out here are people who accidentally traveled here after thinking they were talking to a quest giver in Xingjie Monastery. For those wishing to take a break from the intense action of standing around in a circle with other people standing around in a circle, the festival goers were greeted by two player vs player battle formats this weekend. First there was the Dragon Arena. In this game, two teams of six squared off in an epic battle of hurling circles at each other. Anybody with access to a main city could play this game, which meant you typically face playing with some of the most irritating and undeveloped examples of human flesh conceivable. And then there was the Roller Beetle races, like Mario Kart except without all the swearing and destroyed relationships. In this game, you rolled around and tried to prevent other people from rolling around in an epic, goal-oriented quest of being the first person to pass through an imaginary line. All in all, I'm kind of disappointed that you gave me this assignment, because I could have spent the weekend banging fat sh taking beautiful women out to dinner, I mean. Ugh. I'm Badonka Monk, leave me alone. That lasted about as long as Badonka Monk's... Uh, Melody, go. What? I'm not ready. What do you mean you're not ready? Somebody wrote your lines for you. Just read them. Fuck you, someone wrote my lines for me. I'm a human being with real emotions and real needs. Like makeup. Makeup for what? My celestial dragon. What, you don't think I play dress up with my mini pets? No, I don't think you do that. Well, I do, and I do it in my own beautiful way. As an example, I purchased a mini elf today for 10k and decorated him in his own blood. Hey, John, what do you think would work with a celestial? I haven't bothered with these things before, and so far I've determined only that they don't bleed. I tried sticking an entire stack of obsidian shards into him, but the Celestials aren't fleshy. Weak even says so. Hey, do me a favor, would you? After you're done doing your job, how about you show Hertz how to use the Weaky? Oh, come on! First I had to give him the talk. You know, that talk? After he walked in on Badonka Monk and said Shadowhoof? And now you want me to show him how to find information? I don't even think he knows how to read. How'd that talk go, by the way? I had to drop pictures. Oh, Jesus. No, not even he could save me from that. So how did the end of the event go? I'm going to say something nice here, so don't take offense, all right? Oh, Jesus. Highly unlikely. Just go. Fine. After three days of running around, completing quests for lunar tokens, and trying to trade them up for a gold sparkly little mini pet, all districts of Xingjie Monastery were attended in tri-hourly visits by the Celestial Dragon. And he or she or whatever came with one goal in mind, being fed by these people. And feed he did, thanks to the advanced planning and generosity of guilds and alliances who were, quote, hosting districts. In these cases, entire guilds and alliances planned out who would be responsible for giving the chefs the ingredients they needed to prepare the food for the dragon. One of two things happened. Of the five dishes available, each district was given rewards and quantities corresponding to the number of dishes they were able to create. And for those districts who were as prepared as Stephen Hawking trying to sell stuff in trade chat, everybody was turned into a dragon, which I guess is supposed to be some kind of punishment. Win or lose, everybody in Xingjie Monastery during any Celestial Dragon visit was given a lion mask, the same mask that's been handed out for the last five years. For anybody who hasn't been at one of these events before, this was a great opportunity to complain about how ugly the helmet is for the first time. Ah, uh, I remember my first time. I was but 20 years old, a young lady developing in a world absolutely tanked on rice wine. I mean, I wasn't sure where I was beyond the center ring of the nine ring chance games. Then this thing landed in my inventory with big, bulging eyes and all kinds of frizzle trim. I threw that shit away faster than Badonka Monk- Yeah, I already made that joke. Well, that's all the time that we have for today. Our deepest thanks well to all those people who probably turned us on while asking themselves, who the fuck are these guys? I'm John Johnny, John John John. For everybody else on the team, have a great evening. Good night. You, oh my god. This is hilarious. <laughs> that is the coolest Super animation. <laughs> You're like Rocket Man over here. What the fuck? <laughs> yo, you, that bitch needs a speeding ticket, yo.
Powered by rice cakes. <laughs> Eskimo, yo. Melody the Mesmer on crack. <laughs>